Let's see. <clears throat> there we go. I started streaming. It shouldn't show up for another 15 minutes. But if anything is terribly wrong, I, sh I know it's showing the pause screen right now. Probably that's a mistake. Let's, uh, un because, yeah, I'll probably forget to deal with that. So we're just going to show you all the prep. And then that's just going to be the way it is. Uh, let's see. So. Yeah. So, uh, hopefully everything is working all right. If something is horribly, terribly wrong, please tell me in the chat. If you cannot uh, see this, then, um, yeah, that's, that sucks. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. So yeah, I have, uh, I've streamed CCFM before. If you are, uh, an old, um, old, what am I saying? It's, it's been, it's been a good year since I, uh, streamed CCFM. Maybe, yeah, it's a year. And then I streamed a lot, and now I am uh, back after some uh, uh, technical issues on my side that lasted a year due to um, other issues, I guess. Some kids came in the way, shit like that. Uh, but I'm back, and I'm casting. So hopefully this will go all right. Uh, obviously, it's still going to be 10 minutes till match start as of uh, right now. Let's... Um, Let's get everyone split up, and then let's make sure everything works out well. Oh, looks all right so far. We're sort of missing people. I believe there should be three teams on each side, which would equate to 27 players. Yeah. Yeah, math. Math still works. So hopefully, um, shit will go well. We are currently missing quite a few. 13 JG. I should totally uh, ask them how the fuck they want to say that. Let's see. Are they on my side? No, they're not. So I know. Oh, and the B. I need to ask B as well. Uh, let's see, STS, let's see, uh, let's find the fuckers. Apologize for any profanity, it will flow out of me quite naturally. And, um, you're just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> That's the way of life, I'm doing this all pro bono and shit. Let's ask Stiel Hangranade how he pronounces his clan name, it's STS. Let's see here. Hey, buddy, buddy. Stop, stop, stop. It's the caster. Stop, stop. I want to ask you something about your uh, clan name, just so I get it right. Oh, fuck me. I need to relearn. Okay, so STS. How do you say that? Like, if I'm going to describe you guys during uh, midstream, what do I say? Just STS, or do you want me to say, like... It means uh, Sturm, tro uh, Sturz, Trupp, Steiner. Sturstrup Steiner. Okay, yeah, I ich spreche yeah. ein bisschen Deutsch, uh, but that shit might be a little tricky for me to pronounce. But Sturmtrop, I can say, <laughs> so I might call you guys that. Yeah. All right, I Ethan. think that's the pronunciation in English. Yeah, 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 exactly. Thank you very much, man. Yeah. Okay. All right, so they're done. Now it's the BS guys. BS. So let's find some BS guys, because I might. I might have to call them bullshit if I, um... Yep. I do not. Uh, let's see. Let's find some B guys and then ask them. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, let's just get that link in my clipboard right now so I can uh, just 
deal with all those fuckers. Because that's going to happen a lot. Uh, let's go there too. Boop. And then here. And drop it. Yeah, sorry, I'm just dropping some links uh, to the stream everywhere. Just in case folks uh, need that shit. Let's check on the actual stream itself. So, yeah, I'm currently streaming. The delay we're starting in. Yeah, so there we go. Everything's uh, should be all right, hopefully. And then... Uh, let's see. We're finding some bee guys. Oh, yeah, I'm going to the wrong fucking base. That's, that explains it. So I need to find the bee guys, and then I need to find... Um, let's uh, also do this. Let's see. Bee guys. And then there's the 13JG guys. Who I also don't know about. There we go. They're over here. Uh, hey, boys. Uh, so I am talking to you, Mr. B.S. Lippianer. Lippianer and Garfield. Buddies, do you hear me? Hey, man. Yeah, I just need to know how I, like, what, what is your clan called? Because I need to call you something during stream. Lippy. Uh, Hello. hey, hey. I'm supposed to talk to you. Yeah. What? What the hell do I call your clan? Like, what's? Should I just say BS? Because people are gonna think bullshit. So I figured you might want. Bullshit wanna. is okay. Bullshit. <laughs> All right. You sure? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Can you kick the uh, STS uh, kit man? Please? Uh, no. Or, or Kartoffel Man? <laughs> uh, nein. Oh, this is hard. Alright. Uh, Alright, your guys are waiting for one more. They are waiting for one more. Alright, uh, but Sebastian, what do I call you guys? Like, it's BS. But it's BS. BS what? Is it like, uh, yeah, what does it mean? Do I just call you BS? Bomb Squad. Bomb Squad. It's Bomb Squad. All right, excellent. I'll call you Bomb Squad then. All right, now we need to change sides and figure out the other guys. Um. So let's change sides. Team selection. Click to join, yes. And then we can go talk to the Blues. It says TLR, I know them. The last rifles, but it's 13 JG. Major Koenig. So they're also German. I guess they might not be completely German. Hey, Mr. Mr. Koenig. Major, Major. Excuse me, Major. This is the caster speaking. Yes. I was wondering. Yeah. Like 13 JG. What? What? How? Like, what do I call you guys if I'm casting? Because 13 JG doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Uh, yeah, company. Jagd company, yeah, or Jagd. Jagd company. Jagd, okay, Jagd. Yes. All right, yes. excellent. Yacht I will thirteenth Jagd company. Yes. All right, excellent. I'll call you that. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All right, let's hope I remember all that because uh, fuck me, I will not. <laughs> Especially those stormtrooper guys. Uh, let's see. Let's post that one one more time. So these guys are three, three, and three, nine, three, three, and three. No, they're missing one. Three, three, and OMBD is missing one. Three, three, and they are missing one. Three, three, and they are missing one. Be ready. Nice. That was Bomb Squad, yeah. Bomb Squad, Stormtrooper, and Yacht. Yeah, Yacht. Fucking shit.
Major, Major, what was it again? It was Yacht, Yacht Gruppen? Ye Jäger Company. Jäger Company, yeah, okay, Jäger Company. I'm just gonna do it yeah. in English. I speak German, but it's so shitty, I just embarrass you. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> Alright. There we go. So, there we go. Uh, yeah. Jaeger Company. Jaeger Company. Jaeger Company. Let's do it. Jaeger Company. Alright. I've got it now. I don't... I don't have it. Let's see... Thanks. Alright. So there we go. I should probably drop it in G as well, because they might make it. And then, who else? TLR? I'm not in TLR. I'm not in any of those, and I'm not in those. So... There we go. Yeah, that's it. Okay. So we are... Uh, how many minutes? One minute out. Let's see. Oh, sorry for the fan noise, by the way. That's going uh, now. Uh, let's see, yeah, the fan noise is dying as soon as it uh, starts cooling down, so it won't really be a part of the match. Alright, tell me now. I'm really sorry, I didn't... yeah, it's my heater, so I'm gonna have it turned off because everything's warm and nice now. Egypt. All right, so I guess I guess we're waiting then. Alright, so we're gonna be, um... Yeah, we're gonna be three minutes late. But that's... I think that's alright. Um... Uh, actually, four, but ignore that. He's in go-go. Uh, let's see. Get ready for map change. Admin change map. Uh, Sumari AS version 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we okay. change. Okay. And we change. Yo, boys. Good luck. Have fun. Alright. So hopefully... This won't go to hell. That's, that's all I'm hoping for, really. That this will not go to hell. Good luck, have fun. No, you. <laughs> no. What do you mean? Surprise, motherfucker. Why the, why the fuck is this woman? taking so long? Oh, my, really? There we go. Yeah, so hopefully everything is alright. And uh, I'm not fucking this up. 15... So sorry, yeah, that's me typing, telling people there is, in fact, a 15-minute delay. Alrighty. Continue. And then shift P. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that's true. I can't, uh, can't do that anymore. So they have squads. I'm going to make a squad. OK. 
caster, and then I'm going to lock that squad. And then we wait, and we will not be spawning. That's... So guys, good luck and have fun. And let's, Look, actually, fun. let's change our uh, settings a little bit. We don't want that much of the commander. We want it down there somewhere. All right, let's go some more of this live on start shit. Oh, fuck me. I hate this menu. I hate this new menu. Yeah. Just in case they don't see it. So now we wait. Here we go. We are, in fact, I believe, uh, live. Right, we all know what we're doing. Well, actually, we should yeah, be live soon. Two, one. In the south. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, so well, let's see if I remember this shit. Go Is down it to the south. seven? Um, no, it's six. No. How do I get the fucking flags up again? Oh, man. I can't believe I forgot that shit. Oh, there we go. That's one. And then the flags will show up, I assume. Or I'll find out. Let's just press some buttons and see what happens. So that's that one. Right, we want that one. And then nine. Yeah. Let's do it again. Six. No. Is it five? No. Six will toggle that, but it won't show up for the maps. No. Oh, yeah, I guess there it is. Never mind. We found it. All right. So, yeah, I believe we should be live any second. These guys are ready to go. I'm ready to go. Everyone's ready to go. So, uh, hello and welcome to CCFN, I guess. We should just start by saying this is CCFN 160. We are casting 13th uh, Jaeger. Um, God damn it. <laughs> Jaeger troop. And the Last Rifles and Guardians versus uh, OMBD. It is uh, Bomb Squad. It is Stormtroopers. And uh, that's about it. Yeah, it's uh, the small server. But it's, uh, it's small but good. I like it. You know, we can all be uh, friends and, and happy together. Tight crews, you know. So here we go. All right, so there we are. Uh, I believe we've started OMBD here is pushing out. So is a Jaeger, Jaeger troop, a Guardians. Everyone's fucking going. And G are heading out. It seems like we are uh, rushing Mosque, as is normal. TLR also pushing out, going Souk, I believe, trying to prevent any kind of rush. It seems, uh, yeah, compound slums. So it's, it's pretty standard so far. No, like, insane rushes or anything. Uh, there appears to be a fob. Yeah, so they're going for sort of the multi-fob uh, deal. Wasn't someone meant to be going to school? <laughs> yeah, that's us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's he, JG. He's going, he's going. He's supposed to be spawning one guy on the forward fob. Yeah, yeah he's going there. Much of that. So oh, they're going to be back. slightly delayed because of that. That's actually Let's quite go. crucial. Uh... Because the guy didn't spawn on the forward fob, I guess, and went there. Yeah, so they're going to be Squad a few here, seconds, maybe a minute delayed in capturing that school on the uh, insurgent cool. side. However, OMBD now having... No, that's, uh, that's Stormtroopers. They've placed an FOB on the south side. OMBD here on the north, I believe. No, that's actually Bomb Squad. OMBD's just chilling. Straight up chilling. <clears throat> Robbie out here already flanking, taking it easy. And then we got, oh my God, Lippy, Lippy Honor, Harry. Oh, I couldn't say that on Norwegian TV. I'll tell you that. Harry Kniller, Hacks, Badash, Flux. We've got a load of boys here. 
Roger that. So yeah. And uh, let's get in on the action. So stormtroopers already attacking 13th uh, Jaeger troops here. As well as TLR. They're sort of pushing into this mishmash. It's a little bit of a mixed squad here. Kartoffelman getting shot there by Nagran. Therendor, Airmondor. They're trying to push across this bridge or around this bridge. Oh, and the uh, heavy MG. Heavy MG on this uh, technical, already putting him down. This is a tricky push to make, especially versus these two squads. Uh, but they're trying to break through on the south side. On the north side so far, it seems the insurgents are trying to break through. It is uh, G with the little standing here. It's EG from uh, EUK. Freezes a lot for me for like 20, 30 seconds. Jesus Christ. Enemies under the bridge, uh, to the west of Sukes, yeah. That's probably me alt-tabbing, yeah. Okay, so I shouldn't, totally shouldn't alt-tab anymore. <laughs> Fuck me. Yeah, so basically they're saying the stream freezes a lot because I'm alt-tabbing most likely. So hopefully... Hopefully that won't happen again, because eh, I'm not going to do it again. So... Yeah, hopefully that won't happen again. Let's see. But yeah, TLR and uh, Jaeger Gruppen or Jaeger Troop still fighting it out down here. I feel like G and um, them boys, they're pushing a little bit, but it's it's more of a defensive thing here for insurgents, I believe. They're not really ready to, to do their push yet. Uh, the UK troops are... I don't know, it's it's quite passive so far, apart from this uh, pretty hard rush here in the bottom, let's uh, take a closer look at that. We have um, Lord Popo here, smoking it up, trying to get his boys up. I'm unsure who's the squad leaders here. Yeah, because of this, this still exists, this bug, that's nice. I don't know who's the squad leaders, um, because we really want that rally. Oh, we can't really tell where it is yet. And they've got 50 cals all over the place. This is a really hard push to make. Really hard push to make. Yeah. Alright, we're pushing a little west to keep these guys off Souk. Yeah. Copy. Pushing a little west to keep the guys off Souk. Yeah, it makes Sweet. sense. Oh, but they are... Um, so Bacon Strips is well behind enemy lines. Captain Kelly here duplicated his two dudes. Also a squad leader. Oh yeah, because I have that thing on. Oh, that makes sense. Lord Popo shooting right next to him, throwing nades and shit, but nothing there. A lot of uh, a lot of things going on, but this isn't really like it's not really going anywhere uh, as of yet. You'll see the the river is a very very clear line. You do have sporadic troops on uh, sort of the opposing side of the map, but. In general, it is a uh, bit of a stalemate as of right now. And uh, 188 to 180 in terms of tickets. So a slight lead for insurgents, but, you know, I think they do start with uh, more tickets. So that would be, uh, would be a problem. By the way, uh, let me know if that stuttering thing continues and if it's not me all tabbing because that would be crazy by the way gunnery if you could do that that'd be absolutely amazing actually i totally should do this so that's the last time i'm gonna do it there we go bomb squads their names yeah just bs yep yeah, thank you thank you i'm finally watching the <laughs> finally watching the goddamn stream sorry the the chat as well so sorry for ignoring everyone here we go. Ooh, now a uh, concentrated push here. Five guys pushing through. Therendar already dying. It is Stormtroopers, or SDS. They are pushing through Coke here, though, coming for that flank. And it's a very deadly flank. If Stilhangranada doesn't see him, he's going to be in trouble. Oh, he hears him now. Coke 
hitting Steiner Steinerwurst. <laughs> Fucking Germans in their goddamn names. Oh, there we go. Stilangranate just completely missing where Coke actually was. They're finally getting him, but this push actually still surviving. It is four guys here still alive and a little pocket of resistance drawing a lot of TLR over here. Oh, that grenade so close to being a huge success. And Bacon Strip's now about to get his life ruined. Enjoy a life going down as well. And yeah, still, still that little clear line. This is really the big pocket of uh, of a counterattack here. Attack anyway. A lot of good grenades going here. A lot of injured people. America going down there. So we've got Jeff and Joya and America down as well as Flying Saucer being very, very low. If someone, if they just don't fuck around now and keep watching that hole, yeah, Barandar still watching it. I don't have that. Here we are. Let's just keep a quick eye here. Oh, OBD now finally pushing across. Again, a big concentrated attack. I think they just got tired of just sitting there and waiting for INS to maybe push OBD. I believe. Where are they going? I guess Flux might be going up to the roof here to get some Overwatch. And uh, Curly Boy and Ongrod as well as DFF. Hmm. Yeah. And here... Guardians will be defending. Flux going down here. Uh, I think he traded with uh, Hidden German. And this pocket... Still three strong? Yeah, four soon, as soon as they get that guy up. So, yeah, we're seeing uh, some good uh, pushing here by uh, by the Brits. In general, I would say slight advantage to the Brits. However, tickets now 192 to 173 in favor of the insurgent side. They do start with more tickets, but as, uh, as kills go, it is slightly stronger here. I'm trying to push to the west to compound and taking slums from the southwest. Hopefully, yeah. The legendary teapot as well fighting here with Bad Ash. Who is a severely devastatingly good player. Last I saw. As well as Robbie. Uh, where the heck is Robbie? He's probably in the shit, is my uh, guess. No. I don't really see him. Okay, he might have he might have been that guy who just gave up before I could see his name. Uh, still a little pocket here. They are, however, not as strong now. Uh, Air Mordor coming in to assist. Steinerverse. So they're sort of focusing more towards um, Mosk now. Let's have a quick look at the map. Just uh, Let's get the big old map up. Just to get a look at FOB locations and stuff. So we have one FOB down here for insurgents and then we have two fobs for the uh brits this might be the weak point here for the insurgents okay, because they the have to cross west. this if uh okay, if the brits south. can somehow close down this road or make it difficult to traverse this area uh mosque will fall Are you good? Yeah. so why am i why, why was i going down there oh well so that's interesting that this might be the weak point here for the insurgent side right now. Uh, literally nothing though. They are in the lead by 26 tickets. Let's uh, keep uh, an eye on that gap. OMBD's push got thoroughly crushed. Good job there by uh, G and TLR, I guess. A concerted effort because you see here. Um, no, that's that's again the Stormtroopers or STS. So yeah, it's a difficult push to make. OMBD here gathering for another... Another good push. Thardar down on that roof, that very, very crucial roof, it looked like, that uh, really prevent um, the insurgent side from pushing the militia side, even. I've been calling them insurgents all this time. Yeah, the prevents the militia side from uh, getting into this area here and into this and, and stopping... Uh, or at the very least, uh, having cover uh, while great. stopping this. STS once again getting Soft ready for a bit of a push. Yeah. Uh, what's the plan? We can't all just sit on mosque. Don Kaiser. Yeah, exactly. They got to push. They're just not pushing. That's that's the interesting part. And look now, their defenses 
really thinning out a little. I think they're gathering TLR now at up top here near Mosque. I think getting ready for some kind of counterattack because I think they're tired of sitting on their haunches just saying, uh, sure, we'll take it. Don Kaiser going down, Antonio, Major Koenig, and Shaw here still holding. So it appears to be the uh, Jaeger troop holding near Suk here. To the east and then moved off. But I guess they're just defending the FOB area, which is obviously not a bad idea. Um, and now TLR and G appear to be pushing out a little bit. Galaxy going down. From RVN, I think he is out. Loaned out to uh, G. OMBD now smoking up everything. Getting ready for another push. Having DFF and Coriander here behind them. With some uh, fire. EG now in uh, deep doo-doo. Getting rushed here by Badash. Ogrid and... Uh, Ogrod, sorry. And Flux getting taken out by Nade. They are relatively safe, though, that close to this. Um, no, might not be. Let's have a quick look. Where Where is this guy looking? Yeah, so it's probably, it's probably Toxi here who took them down. Shooting across the river here. Coriander is in practically dead. Uh, we found enemy hab. We found enemy hab. So where is he? That's Jeff, is it? Did Jeff find the hab? Where are uh, the habs? So that's for... Oh, no, it's down here. So, it's uh, the Jaeger troop here finding the hab on the south side. That could be big. It's really limiting um, the Brits here in terms of where they can attack. And helping... It's helping in the defense of that uh, militia hab. Basically preventing the Brits from attacking from everywhere. And we have disabled. Which could be kind of cool. Yeah, it's disabled. It's That's quite nice. Gosh, I've, oh, I remember a thing I've forgotten. In terms of the stream, uh, it's just a, uh, some technical stuff. I ignore me. So here we are. Once again, casting. So TLR now finally pushing. I believe they've been spotted. Robbie and Zyre are behind them. But where the heck are they going? So not spotted. Robbie and Zyre looking around. Or... If they have been spotted, they have no clue as to where they actually are because they're just looking in the wrong way. Now, heading back, they, they might be looking for that rally point that Jeff just spawned on. That has to be a rally, doesn't it? Jeff doesn't just appear out of nowhere. He does not have possess that skill, does he? He does possess that skill. All right, so that's good for Jeff. Good on you, Jeff. So here we go, OMBD still pushing here. Who's on defense? It is Bomb Squad. They are getting pushed pretty heavily. However, they have taken out Matt Alric, Mason, and the Hidden German. Captain Kelly still alive in the middle here. I don't believe he has managed to drop any kind of rally anywhere. So if he gets wiped, that's it. Uh, especially, well, it's, he's not super deep behind enemy lines yet. So the push... Concerted push could still do it. However, Flying Saucer's down. Chris is down. Enjoy a life is injured. American is up. And my name is Jeff is up. And that's about it for this attack. I guess it's Captain Kelly too. So we've got four left alive. And a bunch of defenders all over the place. And what about this here down here? Let's have a look in terms of this FOB. Is it all gone? No, the FOB's still radio. up, the HAB is still up, but it really, really uh, sucks having it found. Um, the FOB's so close to the HAB as well. To me, it makes little sense on a map like this, just because... Um, are they removing it themselves? Is that what this digging is? Or is it them digging the FOB up? We'll find out. But yeah, just on a tiny map like this, you could have had the FOB down here if you wanted the HAB over there. But it's details like that, you know, it changes the game. Especially when your ticket pool is so low, you know, like 20 tickets is a bunch. So, uh, yep, yeah, Jaeger Troop still attacking here on this FOB location. STS now relegated to defending it. And, and uh, that means that the insurgent militia 
sorry, Militia FOB is completely safe. It is so safe. It's well, well protected here. STS and OMBD trying to push in, getting demolished here. A lot of dead people. And I believe these guys are just hunting fobs and stuff. Robbie and Sire looking around for fobs. It's got to be it. They have found a truck. That's not a Lodgy, though, so it doesn't really give them a hint as to where it is. And I think looking around here is practically... Oh, and this... Robbie. Robbie the killer gets them both. Gets hit, though. Sifix, though, is rushing in there. Trying to get the uh, revenge here. No, not, not rushing anymore. Let's have a look at what's going on up here. So, yeah. Still solid defense here. I feel like um, TLR's efforts are a little consolidated. They are people alive and a little more in one location. However, it is pretty tight-knit fighting. Pretty tight-knit fighting. Yeah, that's the question, right? How the, f how the heck are you going to cross that river? And I believe... Uh, Legging it will not do. Yep. So Flux as well. Takashi still in that. Taxi. Taxi. Still in that position. Takashi. It's just. Yep. I don't know. It's. There's something about that name. Taxi. So yeah. The, the fob is down again. And they're just sort of struggling keeping this up. Major Koenig. From the uh, Jaeger troop. Once again there. Kartoffelman. Try to get that up. So it's a constant fight. The ticket difference now is 24. So it's it's uh, it's gotten back a little bit, but it's, to be honest, not much. Not much at all. So here we are. I guess this is the uh, concentration of the the whole attack effort. Here. And my God, are they surrounded? My God, are they in trouble? It's just. I don't know. Both teams are sort of too defensively oriented. They're not taking enough risks, you know? It's tricky. It's tricky with that fob, too. Like, the fob down here is as much a liability as it is good right now because you don't really need it. Like, if you could remove that FOB, I think you should. If you could get the breathing room to remove that FOB, get the heck out of there. And because right now you have a squad defending it and that's getting you nothing, you know? Is just getting you not losing tickets. It's company. Mm -hmm. There you go, yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just reading the, the chat here. They're basically typing in, and that's 15 minutes ago. So, so I have to think back. Remember. And it's difficult. I'm 36 years old, man. Memory is just going. Coke here shooting a rocket at a hole. The, uh, the very famous male pastime. Drunken Archer and Coke trying to hunt down Robbie and Zyre here. A dangerous game. I don't know much about Zyre. He was, uh, because I used to be a member of OMBD. But Robbie is deadly. Drunken Archer, though. Left. Super deadly as well. Got the drop on Robbie, which is not easy. North, northeast, northeast. And In James the Easy here. Pacifics as okay. well. They're all here trying to basically I'll just get, get rid of this little pocket. Not oh, like here we go, James. Connected. Is he... Is this connected? I would totally love to see if... Yeah, there we go, Zion. So, hang on. If I remember correctly, yeah, that's what 7 does. So that's... That's cool. We can see through buildings now. That's nice. Yeah, sorry, I'm a little rusty. <laughs> I have to admit. So yeah, OMBD now once again pushing out, now investing more effort into this attack though. TLR and uh, very, very few okay, people actually on Mosque. STS managing to push in now because of this uh, sort of oversight. However, they need three people on it to, to manage to do anything about it. Uh, oh, and he gets shot by Teapot there. Teapot, as well as uh, Coke, I believe, might be in that building. Yeah, nice shot there by oh, Teapot. Look, Couldn't have uh, been seeing him for very long. What kind of gun does Teapot have? Let's slow down on him. Nice, Emily. Oh, yeah, he's got the... So he's just sitting there looking. Makes sense. 
Oh, yeah, but they- so they realize there's folks on Mosque, however... STS also realizes there's- they're very, very thin on defense right now, to be honest. Uh... They could be in a great deal of trouble if... if they just refocused, but I guess they have to hold back this TLR offense. Coming up here, let's have a quick look at the map yet again. Man, it's messy nowadays. When you see everyone's fucking marks and shit, it's super messy, but... You could sort of see the idea here. Let's get this one up. You can sort of see the idea. This is then uh, the Jaeger troop trying to push in and get this FOB hab area. The so they zone. know it's there. They know the FOB is there now. So they're not really worried about the hab anymore. And here we have STS trying to push up the opposite side. We have some STS concentrated down here. To be honest, this, this is going to go soon. And here we have... Basically a little bit of a push out, but it's it's complete and utter stalemate right now. Tickets are even uh, evening up here for um, the Brits. The difference now is only 14 tickets, so it's uh, quite nice. Jaeger Company, no, no, doesn't matter. So here we go, TLR again pushing, and it's, I don't know, man. It's, they, they just can't get past this sort of point. It's it's uh, still this this river running straight through uh, the map here. It has been kind of a border between two warring nations. You do see some skirmishes in this latest effort by STS. Stormtroopers has been relatively successful, although... I would say not as organized, not as concentrated as it needs to be. Like, if they were a tip of a spear and just fortified this building, they could actually make TLR pull back and get, or, yeah, TLR pull back and get Militia on the back foot a little bit and maybe overreact to the threat uh, and give, give the Brits a chance to consolidate and, and get a real attack going because right now it's, it's a bit of a mishmash, I have to say. STS... Again, like it's it's an attack all across the line, you know. It's uh, it's uh, I'm gonna throw some Sun Tzu shit at you. You're right. If you he who defends everything defends nothing, right? You gotta you gotta focus. You gotta concentrate somewhere. And it's uh, right now they're basically they're defending everything, right? They've had they've got that FOB down there, the mosque, okay? and then they're attacking a little bit here, and then yeah, they're defending you. here and. To be honest, this defense, like, this is the most productive shit they're doing. This stuff right here is like a, a drop in the ocean, you know? It's not really doing anything. Sure, you're you're making sure they have to have some kind of defense, but... Right now, man, I'm feeling, I'm feeling uh, uh, Insurgents' offense, I guess. And maybe the fact that they are investing so much in offense is what has been evening out the tickets. We're looking at 11 tickets now. So, to be honest... The fact that they are more coordinated might be costing them just because the people they're throwing, uh, throwing in offense. However, then again, if the Jaeger company manage to, um, or Yacht company, yeah, they manage to actually get this FOB down here, only two people really holding it. If they get this FOB down, that's 20 tickets. Boom. You know? That should be a priority. 20 tickets is huge. Sure, a flag is good, but an FOV good, is less defended good, and easy, more easily easy. taken. You know, you really only need one guy. So it's... Um, this game seems fun when watching from above. It It, it is fun when uh, watching from below as well. It is squad. If you're not familiar with squad, I do not know what the fuck you're doing here. <laughs> because this is... This is, I wouldn't say competitive, but it is an event organized in, uh, in terms of squad. And it's, like, it's, I don't know, it's pretty internal, I would say. I, did, I, I would assume literally no one outside of the squad community knows about it. Um, so there you go. Unless they were previously in the squad community and it is no more, but there you go. Uh, let's see, so STS here. Yeah, I mean... They're doing all right, but again, it's like that drop in the ocean. And right now, uh, the Jaeger company really pushing in here. STS notices the threat and is pushing south. There's a huge mass of them down here. Is this where the FOB? Yeah, so they've got this. That FOB's just gone. 
Like, uh, as Just soon as they find it, and its exact location is right here. Let's see if we can Logitra. find it, because I have no clue. It's making oh, noise. Yes, right. So right there it is, right? As soon as they find this, that's 20 tickets. And they are close. They are hella close. So it's TLR as well. Will they hear it? Yeah, that's an enemy loji right there. They're just off. Did they hear it? Let's see how close you can hear it. So. Oh, they... No. They could have heard it. I hear it from here. Not since V12. Okay, so Io, Io knows what he's talking about. <laughs> Not since V12. Not since V V9, man. V9 was the bomb. I fucking love V9. There you go. Uh, here we are, OMBD now, having pushed out TLR and tickets once again spreading out a little bit. I guess this is the shift, right, from attack to defense, as well as this shit down here. I. Honestly, they are looking for that FOB, and they are just, they barely missed it. So, uh, kudos, like, Lucky Brett's here, hanging on. Mason now. Can Mason hear it? No. I think they're, they might be chit-chatting too much, you know? I'm not sure. But Mason was over push. here. Push to the, uh... West and you can barely hear it. Okay, so I'm not going to blame Mason for that, but they basically they're all running past it. Come on. All right. Over this way. No. Poor fellow. Doesn't know. And uh, yeah, so STS now once again locked in here. Uh, but if there's any... If there's any time to attack this, now is the time because they just can't find this FOB. They've already passed the area. They just do not know. And here comes the effort. It appears to be OMBD and STS in a concerted effort. However, this whole lane is locked dead, man. It's locked dead by Sifix here. On that gun. In that window. Oh, he's pushing out a little bit. The the recovery fires got them uh, backing up, but it's still not a super safe place to be because they're right back on it. OMBD, however, pushing through the doors, and they're in. Drunken Archer killing Badass here. Mikael, ready. Ogrod on the other side here. Oh, one nade Ogrod, and you could have gotten him. And he's literally now he's the second guy on. Mikael with the. Have neutralized. With the pistol here. Good work. So we try to push into the north. So Agrod. Oh, there we go. He goes down to flux on the roof. Robbie coming over as well. So now Mosk actually in trouble. You cannot defend Mosk from like you have to push out of uh, Palace to get it. So. God damn. And uh, this they found the Hab. GG. You know, like sure, they can no longer spawn. They can no longer spawn at the south, where they really don't care about being. The hab's down, but we can't find the radio. No idea where it is. No idea where I it is, yeah. I think the radio is uh, near to the main base in the west. So what is... Roger that. What is this? Oh, they uh, built a hab in Slam behind. Yeah, so they're going to be kicking the themselves west. as to how close they came. Roger that. Because they were, they were walking right here. And I can clearly hear it from here. So they must have missed it by, like, nothing, you know? If they had, if they had their ears, and if they were quiet while looking for that hab, they could have had it. Right. The FOB, sorry. And here, like, they are, I would say they have reasonable control. Man, I wish they'd thrown some smoke here, because that would have killed this. You know, Clarendar from STS gunning it for Drunken Archer? No, I can't see him. He's on the roof. So they still, they, they haven't really consolidated. It's just one guy actually on flag. They need to be quicker. Flux, though, jumping in for the kill. Getting killed, though, by, I assume, like, legendary teapot there. Really doing good work from that window. Killing a lot of folks. Robbie here wants to put an end to it, though. I think Robbie getting into that building could do it. No, he's going to show him his back. He's going to get killed. No. No, survives. But that's... Close call. Man, man. Alright, so I think they're going to push 
from the south all the way up here. That's a long ass way, but they're already sort of ready here. It's, it's a Jaeger company coming in here. TLR as well pushing in. It's still a long ways to go to get there. I feel like I'm favoring because uh, I'm not sure this map supports a double neutral and the tickets. Six tickets apart. But man, that's a lot of freaking casualties. If they could kill James Easy and get to reviving, man, a lot of things could get done here. Steelhawk Granata getting shot in the back here. Steinerverse killing James Easy. So now, if they could really just gung ho it with the revives, man, we're talking a lot of tickets. Lipiano almost, almost getting in here and clearing this. I think he was in here, yeah, and they're still super nervous for more uh, company. Now, uh, sort of spreading out. I think Teapot's gonna stay here and just make sure everything's uh, golden. But now, oh, Taxi as well in here disturbing the peace. Is he gonna throw a nade? No, he's gonna bandage. That's that bandage, yeah. There's one in the building, Northwest building. He should. Yeah, they're trying their way. So, right now. Yeah, and here comes the counter. But all these people are in the flag right now. The Truffleman, you're in a danger. You're playing a dangerous ass game. Look at this shit. He's trying to shoot him, but he's hidden. And the guy doesn't react. What? They're, what? Back bust, back bust. Taxi. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sure. I was oh, this sorry. is brilliant. I'm sorry, but that was... Oh, and he gets them both. Oh my god, this game. This game. <laughs> so now uh, we're looking... They should be capturing, to be honest. They should be capturing Moss. Oh, no, now it should be stopped. Galaxy coming in here. Surviving that. Oh no, dying. Drunken Archer is there. Coke coming in. And Coke getting him. There's one more. One more inside. He's uh, he's not doing really well. Oh, Kakofu, you cannot look away like that. Yeah. Oh, he's got the pistol out now. There we go. Coke getting him. Good aim there. Straight headshot. Steinover. So they're slowly picking him off. Only three people left. It's and one is seriously injured. So it looks like they're going to stabilize on Mosk, and then because they basically reacted as they did in defense, I think, yeah, this is sort of, this is sort of the thing you gotta do, right? Because what happened, oh, wait, 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 they've found it, they have found it, so that's 20 tickets, man, that's pretty much to win. Ray just down. Radios down. Oh, wait, aren't yeah, radios 20 tickets it. anymore? Did I fuck up? Is there something I don't know? Are they only 10 tickets now? They might be. Alright, so there you go. Live and learn. I think they're 10 tickets now. So it's not that huge of a difference then. Because, well, basically the Brits have stabilized down from uh, 25. And now they just have 10 more to go. Like, I think it's... It's big-ish, but it's not, like, huge, you know? So, yeah, but at least it's one less FOB, although they weren't really using it. It's sad, but it's, it's no game-ender, as I thought it would be. But there you go. Live and learn. And like I said, I haven't played for a little bitty while, so you got to excuse any outdated knowledge. And uh, the Jaeger company here kind of pushing in, got their own little pocket here. Antonio dying though is pretty big. Robbie's gonna come in now behind these two guys. And he's going to absolutely demolish and kill Sean. So there you go. That's that pocket. Dead. Now we're talking Nagra and Galaxy. And they're sort of basically this is the counterattack coming out of uh, Mosque here. And I guess if this fob wasn't that far Not south, you know, like the problem hang on, let me get this fob right here. It's just there's just too long a way to go, you know. I mean, sure, it's it's Samari, it's a tiny map, but it's still, like, if they'd placed it over here, it'd be far superior. I guess this compound isn't too bad. I can't remember, it's Outpost or something? Or even just dropping it, like, right down here. You know, it would give you a really nice route uh, to both these areas. 
either to support your own attacking troops or to go directly for the flag. It might also uh, give you... Oh, wow. They found it. Mason's found the other FOB. The That's huge. Down. That's huge. Who is Mason? Let's find Mason. Where you at home? I don't even know what the fucking way I'm looking. There we go. That's Mason over there. So Mason's found the FOB. Mason, what are you? Are you the IED guy? Can you... No, no, no. You're just going to be digging that up. Yeah. So you found it. That's a pretty decent trick. Jeff is coming. Everyone's coming. And this FOB is gone. I mean, and that is a radio I hear, right? That... I mean, I would think after a thousand hours, yeah. I would recognize that. <laughs> You'd think I so, Mason. almost ran straight past this building, just totally just oblivious. Floor. Yeah. You wouldn't be the first this match, though. So yeah, don't worry. The logic. Always remember so there the we go. That goes. radio's gone as well, and that's going to devastate logic this British logic. side. That is going to really... Because they have they have zero spawn points right now. Uh, both of the spawn points you see right here, this and that, are uh, militia. So, um, yeah. They're going to be in some deep trouble. There we go. That's the hub gone. So that's their have gone, everything gone, right? And they are not happy at the moment, and their defense will slowly crumble. Supply lines are just straight up too long. Uh, I would just go all in attack right now, because they'll, they're spawning main. Look, look at that shit over there. Right, they're spawning main right now. So if you, you could just throw waves upon waves and just respawn, because you're going to be closer anyway. So that's, and every person you kill... That doesn't get revived is another it's another little coin in your pocket that you can invest you know in terms of uh oh man and now they're down 20 tickets that's gonna be a lot harder to come back from remember we started at 150 tickets so they're down to 30 percent left of their tickets and they basically they evened it out they evened out 25 tickets in about 100 tickets and now they got 50 less and they've got, yeah, so just statistically, they're not going to make it. They're going to lose by about 12 tickets, 12 and a half. And, no, 10 tickets. Never mind. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Like, you never know. It could change. But this is looking, and now, especially with um, the militia side going hard on offense, which is costly. You know, you're going to lose more people. But uh, with the supply lines now just completely fucked for the Brits could be and they don't really have a lodgy anywhere like you see this lodgy here is it full of supplies is it is it busted is it guarded what's going on with it uh it should be right here uh to be honest i don't know if you can tell like yeah again this is outdated knowledge this to me looks like a full lodgy uh but for all i know this could be the default model of a any lodgy anywhere oh badass here is this all his doing? If it is, man, kudos. He's bandaging now. He's on top of the wall. He's on top of the wall. Yeah, let's, yeah. Get to let's get to cover. Yeah, yeah, get out. Oh, I know. I know a grenade it would be real Run good. Closer. Uh, let's uh, let's actually pay attention to the match though. So here comes the concerted effort to take now what I believe is called slums. Yep, <laughs> didn't have to check that at all. And it is Jaeger Company pushing in. It is uh, G Guardians here pushing in with their reserves from uh, RVN and UK. STS here actually on a pretty good flanky tank. Are they going to get that FOB on the south side here? If they would just straight up push north now. Like they have they have to start doing something useful real soon. Yeah, there we go. Rally and then now what? Rally and now what, boys? That's the question. If they push straight north through that building, they are going to be really helping their team. Because this FOB is probably the most important right now, because it's the closest to the actual attack target. That one, obviously, also a really nice FOB to kill, but it's also easier to kill, because it's closer to the main. And it's also uh, further from the target, so I would say, if I were to know about both locations and I had a limited amount of time, I would go for this one first. I'm losing all FOB. 
And are we losing our fog? Yeah, that's the question. How? Yeah, you are. It's already uh, disabled. So how would it be? Uh, Watch out in the south, most in the south. Yeah, how do they? Uh, how do they uh, disable it already? That's also some outdated knowledge. Is it just if they're that so and so amount of people, so and so close? Yeah, and here we go. So th that's definitely lost. Like, there's no one anywhere near to help with that. So that's just gone. So that's 10 tickets. And that's going to put the UK side in the lead, assuming they can hold on to this flag, which, to be honest, is looking pretty good right now. This is a difficult map to attack on. I think, to be honest, like, if, if Militia just stayed defensive, like, if they'd never attacked, that might actually have played in their favor. Because losing this one is going to bring them down by four tickets. There we go, 42 to 40. Uh, yeah, 41 to 47. So they're actually down by six tickets right now. And that We're gonna need some assistance on could, could be the game, especially now once once uh, OMBD figures out where they're coming. Because the you're slowly getting subtle hints, right? They're pushing through this area and they're like, okay, so they're pushing through this area. And then you just follow that trail south. And there's a very, very limited amount of ways like because at this point i think to any experienced player it's obvious that there is an fob somewhere south you know uh just because they have a concerted effort coming from the south and coming from the rear and obviously them pushing in this way i would agree with OMBD. like this is where i'd search too and not all the way down there because again like i said it's a little far away so that might actually play in their favor Ooh. They're capping slums right now, yeah. A good, solid push here from TLR. And with Jaeger Company over there supporting, slums might actually go. There's no there's no reinforcements here. STS now pushing Mosque, though. And the only person here is uh, Taxi on the roof. Prone, hiding. But is he going to... Yeah, he's currently stopping this cap. As soon as they get a fourth man in, it's going to start capping. And I don't know if this map supports double neutral or how... Um, I guess it would. Ooh, and there he goes. So now we're going to see uh, Guardians here sort of reverting to a defense against uh, against Stormtroops here. And, and um, Bomb Squad here pushing in. As well, trying to get this. However, I believe they just lost their rally to uh, Plixplax over there. What a freaking name. Plixplax. Wow. That's just hard to say. So, I believe, uh, yeah. Slums is lost. Slums is definitely lost. And now we're even on tickets because of this mad scramble. However, Badash. My man. Badash. Crushing it. And destroying, so now we're back to spawning main everyone, right? Except for uh, this rally over here, which I assume is uh, Jaeger Company. This rally down here, which is uh, Guardians, but there is no rally for TLR, as far as I know. And this going down is going to basically shut down. Yeah, there we go. It's just done. And that's 10 tickets as well. So if... And it's a, it's a bit of an if, but if the Brits now manage to stabilize, this is actually turning out to quite a match. If the Brits manage to stabilize, keep in mind they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine tickets, ten tickets now, eleven lying around here. They have eleven tickets just lying around here, waiting to die. Uh, but if they manage to stabilize, yeah, they neutralized slums. But Mosque is also neutral, isn't it? Totally looks neutral. So we're not going to see, we're not going to see that ticket loss from capture. But we are going to see that ticket loss from fob loss. And now we're 27 to 31. There's no rush uh, for the Brits here to really re Like they don't have to throw bodies upon bodies on this flag, which is going to cost them. My god, Teapot here getting Steel Hunger on Are you gonna get him? Oh, yeah, you are. Civix, though, trying to go in. Popo, gonna put an He's end to that. Are you? Which building? 
So yeah, it's it's tricky here. It's tricky. Tricky situation. You want G really, really want to get this back, obviously. I'm sorry, I'm just laughing at myself for stating the absolute obvious. One, two, three, four, five. Five live defenders here though. How many one, two, we had six now. How many live attackers? It's Ogrod. Krilly Boy. Number two. I'm assuming uh, a lot of people have that nickname. It's so cool. And then Harry. Harry, I'm not going to say. Flux on the roof. So we're sort of kind of looking uh, a little even here. I would say a slight advantage uh, to the insurgents in terms of uh, managing a recapture. Just because it's it's two, it's two three people on flag here. But, but then again, they're down by 10 tickets. So it's a tricky, tricky situation. Especially now, Jaeger Company now, completely going off that rally point. And completely reorienting to get back to Moss. But it's going to be, I think it's going to be, you know, sort of dead even. Like, and if Enjoya and Flying Saucer now get died. Oh, Saucer, Saucer. Is he just going to slaughter? Oh, Agron. <laughs> Oh my goodness gracious me. That was... If he bleeds out now, that's going to be the saddest thing. Enjoya. Enjoya, what are you doing? You're just looking at that door. Oh, and gets gets taken out by reaction time, man. Hidden German is uh, really living up to his name. Let's have a look at this. Holy shit. That was almost a mag to kill Harry there. Harry, apparently... Oh, and TLR appear to have a rally point. Yeah, TLR have a rally point here up in the north, but they will not, I think, be able to um, stabilize here. Hidden German still in that being a real nuisance, to be honest. And OMBD have their... Oh, and they have a fob up here now. Fob and hab. Is that hab up? Yeah, it's, it's in this... Uh, yeah, that's nice. Wow, look at how... Freaking deep it goes. Yeah, there you go. So here we are. Yeah, and TLR now pushing back in. Uh, have they recaptured? They have not recaptured. However, Mosk, I think, will have stabilized. But they are down a good six tickets. This is going to be really close. I mean, if they capture, it's all over. That's it. And I think they know. Uh, I would at this point just go full on defense but they just don't have I guess they do have the resources for it it's 14 to 18 hidden German still doing Hello, deadly work in here hidden German oh, let's have a look at his uh, shit where the heck is he uh, hidden German his TLR 3 and 0 yeah this this to me doesn't make sense but there you go so that would be, yeah, teamwork score, points for healing. Okay, so yeah, so because of this bug, I don't get to see killed. No, that was fucking annoying. There you go. He's finally going down, but he took a lot of people with him. Harry might be able to, um, might be able to do it, but right now, man, yeah, this flag is gone. And I'm not even going to comment on how many tickets that's going to cost him because I have no fucking clue anymore, apparently. Uh, but yeah, this flag is going to be gone, and boom, Mosk now once again fully captured. We do have Ogrod and Krilly on flag, and Badash as well. They might actually be blocking it. Yeah, OMBD here, as well as Bomb Squad. Yeah, no problem. Old men bring death, actually bringing death. Not that that's abnormal in any way. I'm just saying they're actually living up to their name. Uh, let's see. So, bomb squad here. Squad they, one, if you can get up here to slums, we really need your help. Yeah, they might actually be blocking it right now, uh, but not by much. It's, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, two, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's four to four. No, there's, like, if TLR manages to push in there relatively... Yeah, no, now it's like... They're capping it back, so not long, really. They're capping it back. Yeah, they're five. Oh, Jeff here. Jeff here might come in, get the double. No! My god, Flankosaurus wrecked! What a name! What an achievement. That's beautiful, getting Jeff there before he took out the both of you. Might have heard him coming. We need help now. 
Yeah, and TLR, yeah, you're not getting this. So it's nine to nine. This is gonna be way, way, way down to the wire. They really should start conserving. That's really what you need to just really, really stretch out your tickets right now. Oh my God, five to nine. Oh, this is going to be so close. What a game to be my first. And so many dead over here. They're just not going to be able to revive. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six people. So they're... They're going to get stuns back, lads. Nothing I, we can do here. Yeah, I doubt they will get at least four of these. Maybe Captain Kelly. Maybe Mason. And down here, how many are we talking? Like, yeah. I think... I think this might be over. I don't think TLR will be able to revive those uh, enough of those people to sort of recoup right, try again, give up those guys. four tickets. I think they're already uh, gone. Hidden German, definitely. It's just way behind enemy lines here. Three, and we're talking a matter of time right now, especially the Brits Sorry, got slums back. Three tickets left. Yeah, they were hoping. They don't know how close it is, man. They don't know that the attack, this last effort that they made, might have cost them the match. They were up. They were up, and now they're down. And those, that, those last two FOBs going down as well was huge. Huge for the Brits here. They were, they were practically doomed. And then those FOBs went down, and it was just amazing. So the fact, actually, yeah, STS really did well taking down, making that big flank on the south, taking down that FOB that was completely unguarded. I guess they may, might have gotten overconfident. It's kind of hard to judge. I think there's a lot of factors here. One ticket left, and Enjoya, as well as Nagara, Chris, Flying Saucer, all these people have been dead. Jeff as well, dead for a long-ass time. They're not giving up. They're just straight-up bleeding out. They've been dead for minutes now. Clutch it. Go for kills. Yeah, so there's no way. You know, like, you could you could kill the entire team right now, and you'd still, you wouldn't be able to revive all these people in time for that one ticket to not. Yeah, so this is fucking amazing. This is a pretty good match for my first one. Clutch with what your mama made. Yeah, Kipran. So, yeah, you just notice they're all going now. You know, there's no defense. There's nothing anywhere because no one is respawning. There is this attack going on here. I don't know. Yeah, there's not a lot of blue. Everyone's just sitting tight, <laughs> hoping for the best. Like, maybe, maybe they'll die before us. And I, I mean... It was, it was damn close, man. It was damn close. But it's just a little too short. A little too short. I feel for you, Militia. But yeah, this was a hell of a good match. Jesus Christ, they gave us a show, didn't they? All of them. I want to get all the scores when we end here. And I'm going to put you guys on a little bit of a pause. I'm probably going to have five minutes where I turn off the microphone and stop uh, gently whispering uh, whispering in your ear. I'm not really whispering either. I am kind of low, though. Come on. It's got to be a matter of seconds right now. Can't be more. And here we go. <laughs> Just throwing themselves at it. Look at this. Look at this slaughtering ground here. There we go. Seven <laughs> tickets. GG boys, seven, seven tickets. tickets. That was wow. amazing. It was amazing to watch, GG boys. Fucking hell. All right, so let's get everyone's kills and deaths. There we go. And here we are. Everyone's seen everything Left -click now. Shoot. Left click shoot. All right, so uh, yeah, thank you. This has been round one. I'm going to stream round two as well. Uh, just uh, hang in there, and I'll uh, give you all that. Uh, so, uh, pause, and then mic off.
Boom, boom. All right, I think we're ready. Lock it. Can't shift P yet. There we go. I can shift P. All right. So we're back. And this is round two of CCF in 160. We're on server three, and I am Gek. Uh, it is Bomb Squad versus a uh, Bomb Squad OMBD and Stormtroopers STS against TLR uh, Guardians, and it is Thirteenth Jaeger Company. Uh, I believe Jaeger Company are German, STS are German, OMBD is Swedish, BS I believe are German too. They might be international. TLR international, GR also international. Just to advertise a little bit for the clans here. Really, really uh, cool guys. Well, all of them that I've spoken to I personally know a bunch of people from the uh, non-German clans here. Uh, 13th Jaeger Company and uh, Bomb Squad are, and STS are relatively new to me, considering I've been out of the scene for a little while. I hang on the loaf. Here it is. Yeah, this is the barrier. There they go. Speaking, speaking uh, liberally in their mother tongue. So yeah, I mean it's uh, round one was absolutely intense. I believe we ended up with the now insurgent side winning by um, seven tickets. Was that it? Seven or six? Really, really close. Amazing match to watch. Uh, I'm so happy that you know. Like, it's, it's my big return, and guess what? I get just an amazingly close infantry, really old-school squad match, basically. A duking it out kind of thing. It's really cool. Really cool to watch. And uh, super-duper nice. And yeah, 150, 150. So I didn't realize they actually... Because... Um, um, I hate to say it, but back in the day, right, f four months ago, in previous patches, insurgents usually started with like a, a twenty-five ticket advantage. I mean, it could be um, like it might not be exactly on this map, but it wouldn't be uncommon to see them starting with a, a twenty-five uh, ticket advantage. So it's uh, interesting to see, and why. Aren't they? They're going to start very, very soon, aren't they? Uh, let's just do... Live on start, just in case everyone... So everyone knows that we are in All fact... Alright, guys, good luck. Live good on luck, start. Guys. Live on start. Oh, and DFF is the squad leader. Yep. I So, yeah. So they have a recruit as a squad leader. That's... Don't get me wrong. He might be really good at it. Um, I, I don't know him. That's the thing. I just expected Robbie to be the squad leader if, if, because that's the dude I know. That's like, he's, he's a big kahuna over there. Uh, it's kind of cool that they're trying out different things though. Um, uh, it's going to be fun to see how he's uh, reacting in comms and stuff. Okay. So here we are. Oh, and we've got bomb squad now rushing slums. It appears. And, uh, are they, did they fuck it up or did they do that intentionally? They might've fucked it up. They might have fucked it up. Some crashing and some shit. Yeah, but there they are. They So now we're seeing some rushing. And here we go. We have a... What appears to be a Lodgy rush as well from Mosque. So a much more... Um, uh, enemies pushing to Mosque with an, flexible. Uh, trap or Lodgy. Yeah, much more flexible uh, round here. I would say dynamic. Can you deal with it? Dynamic round. Not so static. We're going to see a lot more action from the beginning here. Uh, and the fact that it's going this way, like, it could result in a much uh, quicker round as well, because we're going to see some major imbalance uh, forming. It, this leaves a lot of uh, room for mistakes. 
Uh, I'm just going to tell the... Ch Sorry, it's going to be static for a second. Uh... Alright, so there we go. Sorry, boys. Uh, I'll get back to this now. I just wanted to tell everyone watching that the break was a little longer uh, because of some uh, difficulties. We had a few difficulties. So here we go. We've got a uh, bomb squad here on the 50, aiming down this, just basically denying them this northern flank, uh, shooting into the concrete there just for the heck of it. OMBD now basically holding slums or preventing. It's also a bomb squad. Bomb squad here, especially holding the back here. OMBD's got Badash in the front, and again, Badash, pretty badass. As well as they're really flanking on the top side here. I think they just want to find that FOB immediately. We've got an FOB here as well, down in the south. Very, very similar uh, planting of the FOB on the insurgent side, as well as the Brits just dominating Mosque here. There's no getting this. This is going to be much more... Interesting dynamic, like we're going to see a bigger ticket difference, I bet, in terms of uh, the win-loss here. Uh, whoever comes out on top, and I... There is a massive, massive push here, and it is Guardians and TLR, the last rifles. Yep. Yeah. The last yeah, rifles here. Yeah, we, we're capping Souk now. Um, yeah, we're trying to push most men. They're capping Souk, but I don't want, I want to like, see, there's, uh, a, there's a big ass, there's a lot of people here who want to stop Mosk. you trying to cap yeah. the Souk. And I don't know if they're going to be successful. Ooh, wow. Like they're they're capping slums right now. They're like uh, third in. So they're capping slums. But they are... Oh, man. Yeah. So this is looking very, very strong for the Brits so far. Uh, the fact that they're capping slums. I mean... Yeah, it's, it's easy. It's going to be easier holding... Um, actually, where is this uh, grid here for a mosque? There it is. That's difficult to see, man. They gotta fix that. Uh, it's, so it's basically only the inside area here. It's very, very difficult to hide in this area. Is it even? Is it even out front here? Where the heck did the thing go? Uh, slums is about sixty percent cap. Enemy. There it is. Yeah, that's no nearly impossible to see. So here we are. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's gonna be a lot more diff- like, it's way, way easier capturing slums and hiding somewhere within this cap. Uh, if I could just figure out exactly where it goes. So, slums cap, yeah, it's actually only this uh, area right here by the looks of it. So, maybe I'm wrong, like, you could probably get in here and hide. It's, it should at least be easier to do than to try and get mosque. Uh, that way, so I would say they are, however, kind of holding them back right now. I don't know. This this is uh, I this is completely up in the air right now as to who's uh, who's getting what. Uh, they do have compound and they do have souk captured, so they right now are on an even footing, where both of their rushes have been successful, and they are currently holding off. Uh, the enemy, they have, um, they have what looks to be sort of opposing, well, actually no. So there's still only one FOB here on the, uh, Brit side, so they're running the same sort of strat, right? Uh, the one FOB, so last round, basically, the militia would only have one FOB, and the, and the insurgents would have two, and now we're seeing... And, and the Brits would have two, sorry. And now we're seeing the insurgent team, the militia team, with two FOBs, and the Brits was just one. So they're sort of running the same strats, and I think uh, that might cost the Brits this time. I know I said that last time as well, but it might cost them just because uh, their attack it has a longer supply line, uh, whereas uh, the, um, the insurgent attack this time, the militia attack this time, sorry, has a, a shorter uh, route or shorter supply line, and supply lines are Alpha Omega. Mosque however, mosque. yeah, however, I don't know, man. Slums is being capped, and We're Mosque is being capped it. right now. So this is uh, this is tricky. 
And I would say the defense... Uh, just get one in the cap zone. All right, let me oh, they've out. got slums, yeah. Yeah, they got slums. All right, rip. So right now, yeah, right now they can actually prevent the cap on Mosk. So, but it's only Captain Kelly in there. It's only Captain Kelly. And if Captain Kelly dies... Oh, never mind, Chris as well. And they have located him. They know where he is. They're going to try and... Oh, but that's just not going to do, you know? Come on, Kelly. Don't, don't do it. Yeah, don't do it. There's no point. You're preventing the cap right now. That's good enough, you know? And here we go. Look at this fucking war zone down here as well. It's Coke versus Popo right now. And Coke. In trouble with that grenade. But yeah, no. Not really. He knows where to hide. Oh, but is, is Coke gonna... No, he didn't anticipate him being that close. Got surprised there. Uh, Captain Kelly, though, and no, no longer preventing this cap. They should be capping, uh... Oh, but there we go. There's a cap on Mosk. Yeah. Enemies capping. Kelly... Enemies capping? No, they shouldn't be. Cap is standing still. Yeah, exactly. So there we go, uh, but they... Clear. Very... They, oh, it's very, very close. I would say slight advantage right... Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Yeah, slight advantage to the Brits. But the fact that Lipiana is down here, so close to that FOB in that HAB area, and he's, he's, I don't know, he might be a very old player. Uh, I'm not saying like old as an age, but he might have been playing for a while. Holy shit, I have to uh, just double check something. Yeah, okay, thank god. He might be like, uh, been playing the game for two years because he just dolphin dived and it's been, I don't know how many patches since that was something you could do. Enemies capping mosque again. So yeah, this is, this is really really tricky. They've abandoned their attack and now this entire group is trying to cross this river. But it's, it's a tricky thing to do, especially with, uh, G all over this. I would, I would revert, I would spawn to this, leave that thing alone and just hope they don't find it, you know? And uh, revert a galaxy here. Also, very, very close. He's gonna if he's gonna scout that FOB. Yeah, he's going to. He's gonna find it. There's no doubt. He knows where it is. He's gonna be sitting in this. So this is devastating now. I wouldn't even have fired at Thurnar there. Uh, uh, said, oh, but then again, my aim is shit. But I wouldn't have fired at like I'd just let him go, and then they wouldn't be uh, any the wiser. And right now, you have that guy surviving, telling everyone what's going on. And possibly preventing you from getting those nice, nice uh, spawn kills there. And just denying them. And and getting your own. Like, Coke would have been much closer before they realized something was amiss. I don't know. It's, again, small things. Here we go. OMBD as well as uh, Stormtroopers. Everyone basically trying to converge on this flag before it caps. And if it caps, they are in... Uh, deep shit and like i said it's this whole rushing thing it's uh much more easily creates that imbalance uh that will make you see uh, a larger ticket difference in the end result wow and a huge huge backlog of attack and look at this everyone's fucking injured no one's happy but there's so many there's so so many uh brits in, in this in this flag right now, it's all like there's no way they're not capping it. It should be captured any moment, and then I would say the rushing phase is over. They would have to reconsolidate and get an attack on uh, because right now they should be pulling off. They like ideally they should be pulling off this flag because that's got to be capped any second. Mosque, so they should be pulling off here and getting ready for an attack on uh, Souk. Because we're, we're talking seconds now, right? Or am I just way off target? Has this been a harder fight than I thought? Where is this goddamn grid? Let me try and find this. So I see it here. It goes... So it goes all the way out here. So technically, they could be blocking, like, if they just cross this. I don't know if they've been able to. And right now, it's only three people on. So, well, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. This is, uh, this is tricky. Let's see, 142 to 148 in favor of the Brits here. Coriander actually managing to take down James Easy. This should be blocking the cap, no? This should be very, very close to blocking the cap. And you are looking the wrong way, man. 
There's none of them over there, but he, oh, look here. This fob is going down. Guaranteed, man. Egypt, Galaxy, and Coke being the heroes, getting this very, very crucial defense fob taken care of. And that's going to open up a whole lot of the stuff for them. Still, Mosk now probably again being capped. Coriander in the tower here. Fully healed. Oh, here comes Kelly and just takes him out. He wasn't watching the right way. And this attack here is just a waste. British Army defended Mosk. So Mosk is guaranteed theirs now. And Souk is in trouble already. This is has the very, very great potential of being a steamroll, especially since uh, the uh, Brits are up now by 44 tickets. And here we go. Everyone's just rushing. And they're... Yeah. Jaeger, Jaeger Gruppen, or Jaeger Company, sorry, should already be leaving. They should have left around the time I said... Uh, sure, it was looking a little bit backseat force the uh, already then, but you'd have a huge like they'd be at least to here, and you could continue this sort of forward momentum. Right now, the way it is, it's going to stagnate, and you're giving the opponent a chance to get back on their feet. Uh, right now, only Mason making this um. Hello? Making this unstable here for the insurgents. Oh, that's might be a beautiful grenade. Oh, <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Lord Popo. Nearly popoing himself. Uh, we're moving off from slums, going straight down to Moscow. Yeah, moving off slums. Uh, uh, contact, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So they definitely should be doing that. Uh, that's a really smart thing to do. And I just wish... Oh, I forgot to do that thing. That's annoying. I usually have a mute button where I mute the microphone. And then I can do shit like this. Without sounding like a complete and utter douchebag. I'm sure I'll get comments, but there you go. I need my nicotine. Um, so here we are. Enjoy life. So, so they're still sort of pushing in here. It's very, very difficult the insurgents here, the militia side to, um, I'm sorry, but there didn't used to be, uh, there were only insurgents on this map before, alright, I'm gonna keep doing this mistake, uh, the militias are well, I guess there were militia leaders as well, yeah, I, there were I'm just, I'm just being an idiot that's all so, yeah, it's clear for now but they still, like, is that that's a rally, isn't it? Yeah, it's a rally so they don't the really apple. have yeah, any that. sort of way like, they've got this up here, and to be honest, they should remove it here. Plix Plax is in position to find this FOB up here, and if he does, that's devastating, man. That's just compounding this. Yeah, and he's definitely hearing it. Yeah, there's no way. He might be German, but he's not deaf. And look at that lean, man. There's no way in hell I could walk like that with a backpack. Um, we're getting you to lodge you down. Um, where do you want it? <laughs> I'd be falling over. Yeah, so there he is, Plex Plex. Right, um, finding go, that FOB, and that is devastating. Uh, that's going to increase uh, 50, 50, 50, this, um, radio and you can, uh, this difference here by another 10 tickets. And they're already, you know, they're already bleeding. And they basically, they're struggling just defending Suke. So... Despite winning that first round, only barely this this sort of very dynamic thing they did in the beginning created that imbalance, that crucial imbalance. Basically, you're throwing in all your chips, you know, and hoping because it's. Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying rushing is bad. Don't get me wrong. I'm saying you are throwing in your chips, you know, like where the small mistakes can cost you a lot. And right now. As, as it happened, because they are clearly very evenly balanced teams, as, as demonstrated by round one. Clearly, um, the imbalances all compounded in, in the Brit side this time, and, and those small things, you know, like this guy gets one kill, and then he gets two others, and then suddenly you have that small imbalance just blowing up. 
Yeah, and they yeah, lost the fob in the north, and now we're at 89 to 148. Uh, near 60 different ticket difference. It is uh, 59, to be precise. So here we go. They're looking for a fob down here, too. And to be honest, you should be dropping it like... Down there is maybe too obvious. I don't know. Maybe up by school Three, or something. You, you have all these roads to cross. Uh, it's a tricky, tricky moment. fob to place, man. You don't want Thank it obvious, right. and then you don't want to cross the roads, wherever. which is deadly here. So, um, Giving the Brits the opportunity to close down the roads, which is we so easily it. done for them with all that optics. It's tricky, tricky stuff. Algrod, though, in the back. Algrod to... Agrod even. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Switching languages mid midstream as well. And Lipiane also annoying this annoying this right, hab. And it is the only hab they have. Bear in mind, they only have that one. And and also, uh, remember round one they had the FOB down here where the fob and the hab were just right next to each other. Here, this is what I'm talking about, right? On a small map like this, you could probably if the build range is still 150 meters, which again I I don't know, you could you could have the FOB way over here. Like I remember uh, playing this map, and you could make the FOB you could make it practically undiscoverable just because uh, when playing on such a small map, you f you feel like 150 meters is a much shorter distance, and um, when in reality, like uh, you could. Most likely, you could have the fob over here, you know? FOB could over, be over here, and you could We're still place that hab if the build distance is still 150 meters, so which I'm not sure about. So, there hurry up with so they're, they appear to be losing soup now, uh, from what I hear, uh, which is, again, pretty pretty bad. Is that a lodgy? Yeah, so these guys need to get their asses in gear in terms of building. Uh, it's just not doing it. And the fact that these guys can't really get up here. I mean, and where's this cap? Let's see if we can find these practically invisible lines. So it is here. Let's see if we can find the end of it. Jesus Christ, that's hard to see. So yeah, so it's all, all of this area here. So TLR are definitely in the cap right now and making it... Yeah, they're capping... So they're capping mosques, so it could be a double neutral, but it's not... They have a lot of catching up to do, they, but they were almost ca caught up by, by 10 tickets, I see. It's uh, 54 now. So, but they're holding mosque very, very decisively. Uh, and and Jaeger Company is way, way out of position, I guess, after taking out that FOB. Maybe, maybe they diverted to to ensure that FOB, I'm not sure. Or this is just a big-ass flank for them, which could be successful, especially considering the FOB is here. They are basically barreling down on this FOB, and if not discovered early... Oh man, they could just avoid it altogether. Accidentally. So mosques at uh, around 60%. Alright. 40% left. Alright, Suka's safe. Suka's safe, okay, so... Tricky. Holy shit, man. You don't have to spray the entire mag. Oh, he doesn't. It's uh, it's an LMG. That sounded very... Like it sounded like the PPK or something. So... Oh, they're definitely... Oh my god. This is definitely super duper risky. Look at this shit. Are you losing your hab, guys? Yeah, they're losing the hab. How... They don't know. Can they hear it? They might be able to hear it. But there's a lot of noise going on. No, he should hear it. Can he hear it? He's not looking at it. Lux! Oh, gets killed. Gives these guys more of a chance to, to realize. Uh, enemy at palace. Palace. They're not looking at it, though. Which is what I'd be doing. Like, I'd, I'd be looking through the wall at it, you know, if I heard it. Oh, he's... He did look that way. Uh, I don't know. Uh, this is tricky. There is a counterattack coming here. It is uh, Jaeger Company, but still a bunch of people alive in here. Practically a full squad. TLR. No. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. He's definitely found it now. Definitely found it now. Ooh. 
There we go. But they've cleared it up. They can spawn there again. But the fact that they've uh, actually found it, so they might stabilize. They might capture Mosque, and that's gonna put that's gonna put them really on the back foot, especially their FOB being placed the way it is. It's gonna be very directional, but I guess it's sort of the same. I don't know. This is tricky. It's a tricky position for everyone. Uh, but being up 60 tickets is really helping the Brits here, all right? Um, I feel like if I were to place my money somewhere, uh, the Brits here w are strongly favored just because of the massive ticket advantage. This rushing and this FOB killing got them. Um... But I wouldn't, I wouldn't completely count out. Inside of yeah, I wouldn't count out. Um, yeah, we're coming the militia side yet. Yeah. I feel like, you know, and I feel like just the fact that that a Jaeger company found this FOB, you know, because you have all these people now guys, guys in and around this FOB area trying to defend it, like they would be really, really nice on Mosque right now because the fact that, like, if they can't get Mosque, yeah, if they get pushed back all the way down here. Yeah, they're not counting in. So that's... Ooh, and a team kill as well in a crucial moment. Um, or a crucial... The enemy's capping mosque. Crucial time. This is not the time you want to be... Yeah. Not the not the, the best time to be team killing. Obviously, not intentional. But, like, when you're already behind... Doing the enemy's job for them is devastating. There we go, yeah. I guess the uniforms are relatively similar. It is sort of a dark, a dark brown on both accounts, or a dark brown, dark green. Can't really tell with this, uh, I guess. I guess the Brits might look a little more uh, professional. Oh my god. <laughs> Taxi there, <laughs> turning around, wondering well, where the hell is this guy? I think maybe he's figured it out. He's entering the building. Wants to get up those stairs. Let's see. Mordor, did you hear him? He did not. Wait, how? He probably saw the barrel through the door, I guess. Because that was some uh, ESP shit right there. Alright, so again, sort of kind of stabilizing on Moss. This is a hard fought battle, but 48 to 111. And Souk just getting demolished here. Uh, still no FOB there, so I don't really. They, To be honest, they should be focusing on Mosque. Bad Ash, can you revive me? But I guess. I, I don't know. It depends on how hard you want to go, because right now. The status quo is in their benefit. So I wouldn't. Well, status quo is in the Brits' benefit. So I guess if they can preserve the status quo, that's fine with them too. Although it is a bit precarious, uh, but there is literally nothing down here for the insurgents, the militia side even. And they are, it's going very back and forth here. Uh, Jaeger company getting taken out up here. They're spawning from that rally, you know, it's tricky with that one fob. It is, it is actually costing them, right? If they had another, like, if they had one fob up here, one fob down there, but I guess the fob up here wouldn't have been placed, but they could have placed it later. I just, they are losing, you are losing too many tickets, man. You're down to 33, and at this point, like, uh, last round, maybe you were both at 100? You're losing a bunch of tickets. Some of it's bleed, and now it looks like... G might be able to, by the way, if you hate crackling knuckles, sorry about that. Yeah, but G now definitely coming in, coming in and securing this. There's smokes being thrown by OBD trying to get into uh, position. EG though, on the roof here, putting good fire down range. Down here. Really slowing them down with that LMG. Really well done there, Egypt. 
Uh, suppressing fire, man. Used as area denial. Very, very nice. And there's just no probing. Ogrod trying to find some spawn here. Uh, probably for Jaeger Company. Uh, hoping for an FOB. Obviously, it's just... Um, it's just a little rally. He might find it if he doesn't... No, I think... He's, uh, yeah, because it's it's a non-obvious place for a rally just because it's so open. Like, it's traditionally a bad place for a rally. Um, there we go. And Coke. Coke now on the hab as well. Gonna kill Hacks. Sifix coming in, but Steinerverse turning around. Clarendar, yeah. Steinerverse now coming to clear it up, and this is, again, a crushing blow. Crushing blow here to um, and Coke. Coke is in deep, deep trouble. There we go. Steinerverse gets him. But just the fact, you know, just the fact that now all of these people have had to gather in this area. That's slowing down this uh, repush, uh, securing that. You know, like attacking fobs is always a good idea, man. Just because, like, even if you don't get it. You're making all of them, you're slowing all of them down. You're, you're making them all gather. You're making them all nervous about their FOB and the security of it. And you're distracting them from what they should be doing. Uh, which is this flag. Obviously, they need that fob. So they, they, they are there for a reason. But what they really want to do is this. And them not being able to do that makes this attack worthwhile as well. Because Mosque is going to be capped. And now, this attack suddenly very worthwhile down here. And we are down at 21 to 88, a 66 ticket difference right now. Which is pretty massive when you only have 21 tickets left. So this is looking extremely grim for the militia side. Extremely grim. And Flying Saucer there doing a quick revive uphill. Or was it in... Are they both medics? I have no clue. I have no clue if it was Flying Saucer that revived... I, I don't know what happened. Someone revived someone. I think. And here we go. So now they're pushing out. They're still, you know, extremely localized in this attack. Just, um... Yeah, and Robbie got stuck. Not cool, man. Yeah, this is looking... Devastating. So really, really cool first round. Second round, again, a lot more dynamic. A lot more things that could go wrong for both sides. And it ended up uh, playing out in um, in the favor of uh, G. Now, not to discount, like, obviously, if you win, you win, right? You're better uh, as a team. But in my honest opinion, these teams are very evenly matched. And, um, yeah, very evenly matched. And the fact that things ended up the way they did this time, I think if you played it out again, things might end up different, you know? Like, at the beginning there, it could have gone either way, uh, so to speak. And even in the middle, there were times, you know, there were moments where they could have at least stopped this this mass of uh, Brits coming in. But right now, man, it's it's looking grim as hell we're looking at a, a at a tenfold ticket difference here and as soon as this fob goes down you're done you know and that's being dug right now so the round is going to be over any second rabbit here digging as hard as he can gg well played everyone really well done and a really, really cool, interesting match to watch as well. Very dynamic, comparatively. And there we go. Rabbit got it. GG well played. GG well played, boys. That's cool. All right. So that's been CCFN 160. I've been Gek. Congratulations to, um, to Guardians... 13th Jaeger Company and TLR for winning by like uh, 73 tickets, no, 77 tickets ish. And thank you very much to uh, Bomb Squad, OMBD, and STS for playing as well. Thank you guys so much for watching um, and good night.